Well, good morning and happy Wednesday. Uh, thank you for taking a few moments of your time to be encouraged with God's Word. And uh, as we always say, we would love to have you like and share our sermons on Sundays, our podcast during the week. Uh, anything that we do, it obviously gives a little more traction. But most importantly, it gets the message of Jesus out to more people. And that's, of course, our goal in teaching God's Word is to help people know Jesus and grow in their faith with Him. Today, I want to take you to the book of James. I recently taught this on the Wednesday Bible study, and it's kind of a challenging thing. And I'll come back to why it's challenging because of something that we just took part in uh, this week at our church here. But in James chapter 1, I'll, I'll read you the passage. And he's, he's talking to the individuals, and James has been uh, sometimes described as the New Testament version of Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs has a lot of different aspects, of different topics, different teachings, and James kind of does that. He, he bounces from thing to thing, but there is a thread that runs all the way through. You know, he starts in verse 1 of chapter 1, uh, don't think it's strange that you're in diverse trials, various kinds of trials. And then he talks about the behaviors of how we should live during trials, what character traits we should have. And then he kind of connects that to uh, when we're in these trials, how do we treat people? Well, then over in, in the end of chapter 1, he says this, But be doers of the word and not hearers only. What's the result? He says, deceiving yourself. If you're a hearer but not a doer, you're deceiving yourself. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself and goes away and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it is not a forgetful hearer but a doer of the work this one will be blessed in what he does. So he's using this illustration of looking in the mirror and then immediately turning and walking away and forgetting what you look like. Now that sounds silly, uh, but maybe this is a little more accurate. Maybe when you look in the mirror, there's a spot, a smudge, a piece of food, uh, something there and you turn and you walk away and you forget to wipe off that which is there. That might be a little more realistic to what our thinking is and what he's using as an illustration here. But what's he saying? If we look at the Word of God, if we listen to the Word of God, we hear the Word of God, and then we turn and go our way without obedience, then we are forgetful hearer. We're hearers, not doers. We're just like the man who looked in the mirror, noticed something that needed to be taken care of, and he turned and to go on his way, and he forgot to deal with the problem. You and I, when we hear the Word of God without obeying the Word of God, when we listen to the Word of God and we don't enact and make a conscious decision to do, there's the problem. And he says, uh, for if, if not forgetful here, but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in what he does. You know, there is no sane person that doesn't want to be blessed by God. You and I, we pray about it, we think about it, we long for it. We want the blessings of God in our life. And yeah, rightfully so. Um, as a child of God, we're entitled to certain ones, but on the sinful side of that, we often want to be blessed in selfish ways. But he's saying, look, if you're a doer of the word, if you listen and obey, if you practice what you listen, he says, you'll be a blessed person. You know, Jesus said uh, in the gospels, blessed are you when you do these things. He was referring to the teachings of Scripture, what Jesus himself was saying, and the blessing came when we did what he said. It doesn't happen the other way around. Uh, you know, a lot of times we, let's say we are discouraged, we're depressed, we're down and out, and we do something like, let's say, eat chocolate. I need some chocolate. What do, 
what are we saying? We need some chocolate to overcome, to make us feel good, to bring about a result. When in reality, we need right thinking. We need to meditate. We need to pray. We need to do things that are uh, in concordance with the Word of God, not things that are going to feed our selfish flesh. And so kind of a silly thing with chocolate that uh, uh, we am using as an illustration to kind of make the point that obedience to the Word is where our blessing comes, not satisfying the flesh or listening without doing. And so I was, this week we hosted a conference here at our church and it was on disciple making. The, the idea of what the great commission is. You know, there's the great command, love Jesus and love your neighbor. And then there's the great commission, which really is a, a follow-up to the great command. But Jesus says in the great commission, go into all the world and make disciples and baptize them in the name of Jesus and teach them to observe all things. It's the idea of reproducing fellow believers in Jesus. I hear the gospel. I'm responding to the gospel. I'm learning in Jesus. I'm growing in my faith. And now I'm imitating that for other people so that they can follow me. And I'm telling them about Jesus so they can believe on Jesus. And then that process just continues on. And so the challenge for me was when I heard this about making disciples and the process, I thought, I'm a hearer, not a doer. And I want the blessing of God on my life. And so I need to be actively involved in the process of making disciples, reproducing myself in the life of other people. And so I ask you today, are you a disciple maker? Are you in the process of sharing your faith and imitating Jesus and mentoring other people so that they too are growing in their faith just as you are, so that they too have the opportunity to become a follower of Jesus? And so go into all the world, make disciples, baptize them, teach them to observe is a cyclical process. And we want to be doers, not hearers only. And so my little confession to you about that today is hopefully a spur of encouragement for you to not only hear the word of God, but do the word of God. Have a great Wednesday.